the findings that were reported in the randomized trial last year and, and published in the New England Journal of Medicine um, shows that ipilimumab is the first drug ever to show an improvement in survival in patients with metastatic melanoma. And this was, has never been shown before. Um, so this is really giving us our first truly effective treatment for patients uh, with advanced disease. So the last drug prior to this was high-dose IL-2 approved in 1998. So, so really this will be the, f the first new drug that we have uh, in over 12 years. It's going to be a tricky drug to use uh, for two reasons. One, it has a very unique um, side effect profile. Um, and I think patients, oncologists and dermatologists all need to be aware of that. Um, the toxicities that we see are all auto, many times autoimmune in nature. And so uh, what we'll see is rash and pruritus, which is typically controllable with antihistamines and creams and so forth. Um, but also other toxicities such as colitis or diarrhea, which can be significant. Patients can be admitted um, for dehydration if not caught and treated early, um, as well as other effects like hepatitis, thyroiditis, uh, hypophysitis, and other uh, autoimmune endocrine effects. Um, so I think everyone needs to be aware to monitor closely for these toxicities so that we can uh, treat them and um, keep patients really out of the hospital. The se second thing that people need to know is the um, patterns of response with this treatment. This is unlike standard chemotherapy where if it's going to work, it works quickly. Um, this drug needs time to work. And so what we're seeing is some patients have disease progress, and sometimes we can see it on exams, sometimes we see it on scans, but they can progress for the first 12 weeks, 16 weeks, sometimes even 20 weeks of therapy before ultimately getting some disease stability or shrinkage. Um, this drug doesn't shrink tumor in a lot of patients. The likelihood of major shrinkage is just 10 to 15 percent, but this does dramatically improve survival, and so that's why this drug's important. Importantly, um, with ipilimumab in that clinical trial, the patients who were on that study were all HLA-A2 restricted. Um, so it's a certain subgroup of patients who uh, were put on that trial, although we know that other patients have benefited. And that doesn't seem to be dependent upon HLA status in general or tumor mutational status.